What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another draw preview and it's the big one. Wimbledon 2021. We didn't have it last year, but we have it in 2021 and I'm very excited for this one. Let's go do the women's draw now because there are some big names that are playing in this one, obviously. It's a Grand Slam tournament, but some massive names have pulled out over the last couple of days. Let's go see the withdrawal list. So we have nine players that are out of Wimbledon for 2021. Jennifer Brady, the Australian Open finalist. She's not playing. Flipkins is out. Gasparian is out as well. Simona Halep, the defending champion. She is out with a calf injury that also forced her to withdraw from the French Open, so she's not going to be playing at Wimbledon in 2021. And Naomi Osaka, also not playing at Wimbledon 2021, pulling out to have some time to herself, as she did at the French Open. Strickova, she's also pulled out. Wong is pulled out. Yastrzemski is also not playing. And Zhang is also not playing Wimbledon 2021. All right, let's start at the top of the draw here, and there are 32 seeds at a Grand Slam and at Wimbledon. And the number one seed, Ash Barty, she takes on Suarez Navarro in the first round, who's coming in with a protected ranking. Winner of that match will play either Blinkova or Babosh in the second round. Then we got the qualifier, Govitz Sova versus another protected ranking player, Coco Vandeweghe. Winner of that match takes on either Siniakova or the number 27 seed, Conta, in the second round. Then we have the number 17 seed, Burton. She takes on Kostjak in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Sevastova or Diaz in the second round. Then we got another player with a protected ranking, Pekovic. She takes on Paulini in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Towson or the number 14 seed. And French Open champion, Krajakova in the second round. Players I'm watching out for in this part of the draw, Ash Barty, obviously the world number one. We're going to keep an eye on her. Also keeping an eye on Krajcikova because she did just win the French Open. Very interested to see how she does back up on the grass courts and how she can convert her game. And also looking at Joe Conter as well because being in front of the British fans usually give the UK players a boost. So very interested to see how Conter does with the crowds at Wimbledon. Going to the second part of the draw now, we've got the number 12 seed, Azarenka. She plays Kozlova in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Castella or the wild card. Murray Sharan in the second round. Then we've got another British wildcard, Radu Kanyu versus a qualifier, Diachenko. Winner of that match takes on either Vondra Sova or the number 24 seed, Contivate. And that is a great first round matchup. Circle that one as one to watch. Then we've got the number 31 seed, Kazakina. She versus Teague in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Fernandez or Ostapenko in the second round. Then we've got another qualifier, Minin versus Tomlanovic. Winner of that match takes on another first round banger, Cornet versus the number five seed, Andrescu. That is a tough, tough match for Bianca. Anchor on Drescu. And you can see there, possible fourth round meeting between Andrescu and Azarenka, a champ versus champ battle. But the players I'm watching out for, I'm watching out for obviously Andrescu. Hopefully she can play well and get through that first couple of rounds and see a couple of rounds of Wimbledon because her game is so big and so hard hitting, very Serena-esque. I think she can do very well at Wimbledon in her career. Azarenka, obviously, we're going to keep an eye on her as well. Had a really good 2020 and has the game to play on grass as well. So want to see how she does. And also very interested to see how Conservate does because Conservate has played really well this week on the grass courts and seems to like playing on grass. So very interested to see how she does in this part of the draw as well. Remember this part of the draw will play Ash Barty's part of the draw in the quarterfinals. So we might have a potential meetup between Barty and Andrescu if we're going by the top seeds, which is an absolute fire matchup, champ versus champ. Or we could have Barty versus Azarenka because Azarenka, of course, is a Grand Slam champion, former world number one. So we could have a battle of the number ones in the quarterfinal as well. Very excited to see either of those matchups. Going to the third part of the draw now, and we've got the number three seed. Svetlina, she takes on Van Utbank in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Lynette or Nisimova in the second round. Then we've got the qualifier, Sharenko versus Putinseva in the first round. Winner of that's going to play a Spaniard in the second round because we've got Bolsova versus the number 30 seed, Bedosa, who are going at it in the first round. Then we've got the number 19 seed, Mukova versus Zhang. Winner of that match takes on either Teichman or Georgie in the second round. Then we've got Kristina Pliskova versus Kovacic. Winner of that match takes on either Bogdan or the number 16 seed, Pavlichenkova in the second round. So the players I'm looking out for. We've got to keep an eye on the third seed, Svetlina. She actually made the semi-finals of Wimbledon in 2019. Lost to Halep in the end. So she does like playing on the grass courts. Also Pavlichenkova. What can she bring after making her first Grand Slam final back at the French Open a couple of weeks ago? What can she bring on the grass courts? And also Bedossa. We know that she played great on the clay courts over this year. But how can she convert her game onto the grass courts and see what she can do at Wimbledon this year? Rounding out the top half of the draw now, we've got the number nine seed, Bencic. She versus Juban in the first round. Winner of that match is going to play a qualifier in the next round because we've got Perez versus Borrell, who are two qualifiers going at it in the first round. Then we've got a protected ranking player, Vesnina versus Trevison. 
Winner of that match takes on one of the first round matchups that everyone's going to be talking about. The wildcard Jones versus the number 20 seed Goff. Circle that one as one to watch because both players have really good stories. Obviously, we know the story of Goff because of Wimbledon two years ago. But Jones as well. She gets a wild card into this event. And she was a really good story at the Australian Open. And she'll be an even bigger story during the Wimbledon tournament, especially on the first couple of days. Really excited to see what she can do against Goff. Then we've got the number 25 seed Kerber versus Toyanovic. Winner of that match takes on either Tormo or the qualifier Konju in the second round. Then we got Habino versus Pera. Winner of that match takes on either Sasnovich or the number six seed and the queen of Wimbledon, Serena Williams. So straight away, obviously, we're going to be watching Williams. She is going to be someone that we're probably going to watch every single match until she either wins the title or loses. And she's made the last four finals at Wimbledon as well. So don't forget that. She loves playing here. Also keeping an eye on Goff, obviously. We know that two years ago, Coco Goff really broke out at Wimbledon, beating Venus Williams, eventually losing to Halep. And we could get a Goff versus Williams fourth round matchup, which those two have never played before. So very excited to see that happen. And then Belinda Bencic, the number nine seed. Interested to see how she does. She's had an okay grass court season. And with her big hitting, the grass courts suit her as well. So who knows? Maybe she can make a run at Wimbledon this year as well. Don't forget this part of the draw matches up with Svetolina's part of the draw as well. So we could get a potential matchup between Svetolina and Serena Williams. That's the most likely. But then again, Svetolina's part of the draw is pretty wide open. So you could get anyone in there. But I'm thinking the most likely matchup, if we're going off the rankings, Serena Williams versus Fedelina in the quarterfinals. Don't forget this quarter of the draw takes on the quarter above, which has Ash Barty in it. So we could get a Barty versus Williams semi-final at Wimbledon. And that would be an awesome semi-final. Ash Barty's variety, Serena Williams power, that could be a semi-final and it would be an absolute blockbuster. Going to the top of the bottom half now, we've got the number eight seed, Pliskova. She takes on Zedenshek in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch because Zedenshek had a really good run at the French Open and Pliskova's form in 2021 has been very up and down. So could be an upset. The winner of that match takes on either Vekic or Potapova in the second round. Then we have Lee versus Potoroska. Winner of that match takes on either Martin Kova or the number 28 seed Risk in the second round. Then we've got the 22nd seed Pagula versus Garcia. Circle that one as one to watch as well. Winner of that match takes on either wildcard Samsonova or Kanepi in the second round. Then we've got the lucky loser Arn taking on Heather Watson, another UK player that everyone should watch out for. The winner of that match takes on probably one of the best first round matches in the women's draw. Sloane Stevens, former US Open champion versus the number 10 seed Petra Gavitova, a two-time former Wimbledon champion. Champ versus champ first round. Circle that one as one to watch. That will be fire. Players to watch out for in this one. Definitely got to watch out for Kvitova. She is always going to be a threat at Wimbledon. Like I said, former champion here twice. And he's playing pretty well on the grass this year as well. Got to keep an eye on Pliskova as well. I don't expect much from her, but again, her game is suited to the grass. So interested to see if she can maybe put some matches together. And I'm also interested to see how Samson Nova does. The wild card. She won a WTA 500 event on grass a couple of weeks ago. So let's see if she can convert that form onto the main stage and at Wimbledon. So keep an eye on her as one of the unseated players in this part of the draw to watch. Next part of the draw now, we have the number 30. 13 seed Merton. She takes on the wild card Dart in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Zoo or the protected ranking player Barthel in the second round. Then we've got another wild card from Britain, Barrage, taking on Davis. Winner of that match takes on another American versus British matchup, the qualifier Swan versus the number 23 seed Keys. Then we've got the number 29 seed Kudamatova versus Golubic. Winner of that match takes on either Hercog or Collins in the second round. Then we've got two Americans going at it with Brengel versus McHale. Winner of that match takes on either the qualifier Wong or the number four seed Kennan in the second round. So a lot of Americans in this part of the draw, and we're definitely going to keep an eye on Sophia Kennan. Hasn't done really that much in 2021. Was player of the year back in 2020, and really hasn't replicated that form. So really interested to see how she can do on the grass courts this year. Always got to keep an eye on Elise Merton. She's always a fourth round quarter finalist at slams. And with her big serve, the grass courts should suit her game. And I'm also interested to see how Madison Keys does, because she's kind of on the comeback trail. And again, the big serve and the big ground strokes should really suit Keys' game. And don't forget that this part of the draw takes on the part of the draw with Pliskova and Kvitova. So potentially, if we go by the rankings, we could get a Kennan versus Pliskova matchup, but more likely it would be a Kennan versus Kvitova matchup in the quarterfinals. And Kennan versus Kvitova, we've seen that at the French Open last year, is a fire matchup. Very interested to see that. But again, it all really depends on Sophia Kennan because she hasn't been in great form. So we don't know if she's even going to make the quarterfinals. All right, we're into the last quarter of the draw now. We've got the number seven seed, Sviontek. She versus Shea in the first round. Circle that one as one to watch because that is a very very tough matchup for the 2020 French Open champion. But Sviontek has won a junior Wimbledon before, so she does like playing on the grass. The winner of that match takes on either Buskova or Zvonareva in the second round. Then we've got Bagu versus the qualifier Volinets. The winner of that takes on either Gracheva or the number 26 seed Martic in the second round. Then we've got the number 
one seed Jabor taking on Pedersen in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Buzanescu or Venus Williams in the second round. Then we got Kuznetsova versus the qualifier Kirkov. Winner of that match takes on either Ferro or the number 11 seed Muguruza in the second round. So the players I'm watching out for, obviously Spiontek, junior Wimbledon champion back in 2018. How can she play on the grass? We've seen her play on clay. Very good this year. Also on the hard court. She's been pretty good this year as well. But how can she play on the grass courts? Also Muguruza, former champion here as well. How will she play at Wimbledon this year? And I'm looking out for Jabor as well. Just won a title on grass a couple of weeks ago. She is in some form and confident. Very interested to see how she does this year as well on the grass. And the last part of the draw here, we've got the number 15 C Sakari. She takes on Rus in the first round. Winner of that match takes on either Rogers or Sam Stoza in the second round. Then we have Doi versus the qualifier Lou. Winner of that match takes on one of the biggest hitting matchups in the first round. Mladenovic versus the number 18 seed Rabakina. Huge hitting there. Big serving from both ladies. A lot of aces in that one. Expect that one to have a tie break or two. Then we've got the number 32 seed Alexandrova versus Sigmund. Winner of that match takes on a qualifier in the second round because two qualies are going at it with Serrano taking on Kalin Scale. Then we've got another qualifier Lau versus the wildcard Bolter. Winner of that match takes on a Another qualifier, Nicolescu taking on the number two seed Sabalenka in the first round. So a lot of qualifiers in this part of the draw, but the players to watch out for, obviously Sabalenka. Number two seed, helped out by the fact that Osaka and Halep are not playing, so she gets the bottom half of the draw to herself. She's got a really good draw as well. Watching out for her, big serving, big hitting. Her game is suited to the grass. Also, Sakari, how can she back up that French Open semi-final that she made a couple of weeks ago? And the number 18 seed, Rabakina. I think Wimbledon is the place for her. I think her game is exactly suited to the grass courts, and I expect her to do well at Wimbledon over her career, and who knows? Maybe this year is the year that she really breaks out. She did make the quarterfinals of the French Open a couple of weeks ago. She beat Serena Williams in that one, and to be honest, she has a pretty good draw, and if she can serve well and hit that forehand for winners, she could go deep in this tournament, so watch out for Rabakina as well. And don't forget, this part of the draw takes on the Sviontek part of the draw, which means that we could get matchups between Sabalenka and Sviontek in the quarterfinals, or we could get a big hitting matchup between Sabalenka and Muguru Ruther, which would be an awesome matchup. Big serving, big hitting in that one. And don't forget, this quarter of the draw takes on the quarter above, meaning that we could get a matchup between Sabalenka and Kvitova, two big hitting players, or even Sviontek versus Kvitova, and that would be an absolute fire matchup. But again, the bottom half of the draw is very unpredictable because there's a lot of players that are not in form and some players that are not that highly ranked that are in form. So it could be anybody in the bottom half of the draw. So there it is, the draw for Wimbledon for the women's event. Let me know down in the comments below who's winning this event. It's so hard to predict. It's so open. So having a look at the draw now to see who is going to win this event. And I did pick Serena Williams at the end of last year. So you know what? I'm going to stick with her. I think Serena Williams is going to win Wimbledon this year. I think it's a great draw for her. The dangerous players are down the bottom for her. Players like Sviontek, Sabalenka, and don't forget Osaka and Halep are out of the draw as well. So that means Serena's got an even better road to the final and to the title. And don't forget she has made the last four Wimbledon finals. So I'm going to go with Serena to win this one and break the record of Grand Slam for the women. Again, let me know down in the comments below who's winning Wimbledon this year. So Wimbledon 2021 is missing some players, but it's still stacked with Serena, Sabalenka, and Barty.